So it looks like we have half a head and a bug. <gasps> Splitting headache. Oh, gosh. He's probably not feeling so good, is he? I don't think so. And then this thing over here just reminds me of a bug. This thing? Yeah, I don't. A bug. Oh, it just yeah, looks it's like got a like antennae. bug. Okay. It's not, right? It's no, a no. really, really big larynx. larynx. It's yeah. huge. Huge mungus. Um, and it's also what we talked about with the thyroid gland oh, yeah. earlier on in the semester. Okay. okay. So we're going to be looking here at our respiratory. And when we're breathing, we talk primarily about uh, air coming in through the nose because you shouldn't be a mouth breather. It just doesn't work out that way. Probably. It's much more efficient to breathe through the nose. Yeah, it's better really for you. Is. And the, the whole humidification and stuff. Yeah. Mucus does not evaporate nearly as quickly as saliva does. Yeah. So we're going to start at the nose. I think you all know where your nose is, right? Nose, the nose. Point. And then the next thing on our list is called the external nares, which is the super fancy word for nostril. Yep. If I could pick it, I would pick it. Pick, 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 pick. So air is going to come through the external nares and pass into the nose. And in the nose, we need lots and lots of surface area because um, we got to make sure we can clean and moisturize and send everything up to our olfactory bulb and smell. Mm -hmm. It's important to smell. Mm -hmm. So in the nasal passage, there are, or in the nasal cavity, I suppose mm -hmm. is what we call that officially, there is there are going to be three little bumps there. These are called the conche, the superior, the middle, and the inferior conche are going to help to angle air up um, and clean it, moisturize it. And they are going to meet at the back of the nasal cavity at what we call the internal nares. So the internal nares are kind of like the, you know, nostrils at the back of the hmm. nose. It's your back so nostrils. Back nostrils. <laughs> Um, then um, between the nose, so we actually have two nasal cavities technically, and there is a line right up the center of the nose. Can we see it on this guy? Um, eh, a little bit. A little right, right up right. there is your nasal septum. Now this is actually a bone. Hey, if you have a deviated nasal septum, that's because you're vomer and the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid bone are off to the side a little bit. You know, what celebrities use an excuse to get a nose job. <laughs> right? There you go. And at the bottom of the nasal cavity or the top of the oral cavity of the mouth is gonna be our hard and soft palate. The hard palate is also made up of two bones, the part of the maxilla at the front and the palatine bone at the back, and then the little red dangly ball. This is your soft palate. It has another name, you know, the uvula is uvula. what hangs off of the soft palate. It's the hangy do. The, the hangy do in the yeah. back of your mouth. That's mm -hmm. going to help to cover your nasal passage so brownie does not shoot out your nose. <laughs> we'll talk more about that in the digestive system. <laughs> Right. Now, air is going to continue passing from the internal nares uh, into what we call the pharynx. Now, the pharynx has three specific regions. The nasopharynx at the back of the nasal passage, the oropharynx at the back of the mouth, and then what we, the big long one, the laryngopharynx, which is going to direct air into our larynx. So on this model, too, you can see the larynx and the esophagus really well. So the esophagus is going to pass food down to the stomach, which we'll talk about in digestive as well. But as long as there's just air coming through, we're going to send it into the larynx. So on our larynx, we have a couple pieces of cartilages that we need to know. Uh, the first is called the epiglottis. The epiglottis is made of elastic cartilage, which is why on this model, it's really fun to play with. This guy. It's, it's shoehorn. The shoehorn. Shoe yeah, so it comes down, and you can probably see it better from the back. The epiglottis will come down, cover over your larynx so you can swallow, um, and then we'll pop back up again. So, so you can breathe. On a spring. It's just kind of fun to play with. <laughs> shoehorn on a spring. Yes, <laughs> shoehorn on a spring. Okay, so on this model, we can see the hyoid bone here, and on that model is number that one I yep. think yep hyoid bone yep. right there attached to the tongue um, so if we look just below the hyoid bone and our epiglottis the next piece of cartilage is the thyroid cartilage the thyroid so thyroid, thyroid. cartilage thyroid. is on all three of these little models um, and then the cricoid cartilage which is right below it this one here that one there and this one here yeah so on this model around. can you hold that one up right so epiglottis here Right. the thyroid cartilage at the top and then our cricoid cartilage that comes around towards the back. Now inside the larynx there are two folds to look at. 
I'm and whisking away. She's trying to pull it apart. Whisking there we away. go. Um, we can see um, there are two folds here that are going to help us make our voice. The top of the two is going to be our ventricular folds. So you can see it on both of these models. And then the one below it, which usually has a red or a white line on it, is going to be the vocal fold. So those are the ones that will actually make your voice. The ventricular or false false vocal cords are going to help to protect them. Um, and as we go down on both of these models, once we pass our air, past the cricoid cartilage, you can see there are a lot of rings of cartilage. So each ring is going to be part of the trachea. So that is officially where the trachea begins and where we have tracheal cartilage, the C rings that hold everything open. Hey, Marsha. Yeah. Doesn't this epiglottis fold down over a hole called it the glottis? It does. It's called the glottis. Here, let me see. I wanted gonna, to take a turn at this point. We're going to move Ooh. the camera. All right, so if we look at this zoomed in of the really huge larynx, um, the ventricular folds, I'm sorry, vestibul vestibular folds? Vestibular <laughs> folds. Blah, 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 blah. Um, and the vocal folds are kind of made of cloth, um, and they actually open and close with these weird-looking crazy things. Right? Mm -hmm. um, these are just more cartilage. And then the hole down the center is going to be the glottis. And then the epiglottis is what covers the glottis. Ah, doesn't work so good with the pointer. i to actually use the fingers. <laughs> use the fingers. Jeez. And that, well, so when we swallow, brownie will not go down into our lungs. That's true. All right, I think we're good with the top portion, upper respiratory. Lower respiratory coming up. All right. 